Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is early, and we woke up to a few inches of snow. Today is a fun day. I'm excited for two <gasps> reasons. One reason we get to go see our kids. Yeah, they've we been at seen Grammy them in a week. and Papos. And the second reason is it's NFR time. It's, yeah! it's, it's cowboy <laughs> in Vegas right now. Yeah, and that is my it favorite. Is country. Yeah, it's so my favorite time of year in Las Vegas. I love yeah. it so much, and I'm super excited. Yeah, my we go every year, except the year before is when it was in Texas. Oh, okay. So, okay, we went last year. The year before that, we didn't go. And we're excited to go for like 30 plus years. Here, uh, Luke Bryan's playing at the the pre-show, so I'm super ah! stoked for that. <laughs> yeah. I got my cowboy hat. Vegas goes country in December, it. and it's my favorite time of the year. Yeah. Quick up and back. I think we're gonna take you guys with us. I think. I would love to. into the night. Good morning guys. It is beautiful out today. It snowed like, I don't know, three inches or so. I love it. I don't know if you can hear that, but the generator is running right now. That thing is a lifesaver. It's like overcast the last like three or four days. Not really much sun. We've been running that thing in the morning every day <laughs> to charge it up because it's been, the batteries have been getting low. Demo is done, you guys. I'm so excited to be done with it. Next thing on the list, we gotta finish up leveling out the cabin a little bit and then start putting up walls, guys. I'm excited to start doing that and have this thing start taking shape. But right now, my wife is doing homeschooling with the kids and I am gonna clean off these solar panels because we do have a little bit of sun. Sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. Like, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> there it is. We might be getting a little bit of, little bit of solar power today. But uh, so I'm gonna clean these off so we get whatever we can while we're gone for the day working on the cabin and then uh, get our day started.
cool the generators got running for probably an hour and a half. Woke up this morning and came and did it. And now I just turned it off because the batteries are at 97. Works for me. So we are good on the batteries right now. Side note, our dryer replaced the, the motherboard. Still didn't do it, guys. I don't know if you guys know that rule. The repair cost costs 50% of what it costs to replace it. So probably just replace it. So I've already put more than half. So I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna buy one today. I gotta buy the conversion kit. So here in a couple days, we're probably gonna go pick it up. And it's not gonna be the same one. It's just gonna be whatever one, whatever Black Friday deal they got going on, you know? Whatever you got, whatever you got to do. They're not going to match, but I don't really care at this point. That's that. So we'll probably have to go and get a new one here in a few days. While I'm thinking about it, I wanted to look at the water situation. It's been about two months since we filled up. We take, everyone takes a shower every single day, sometimes twice a day if you really need it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It's probably like right here. These things are seven feet tall. We probably used maybe a quarter. Looks like about 45. I think we're doing good. Maybe, maybe not two showers a day. I don't know. I don't want to run out. We got like three months left of winter and three and a half. It should be good. It's good to stay cautious and make sure we're not running out of water because we can't get the water up here right now with all the roads, how they are. Okay, so to the water level is about 45 inches to here. This top part is 65. So we used about 20 inches out of the, so just, just under a third, I think. So I think we're gonna be good. I mean, we can probably watch our our usage a little bit. I think we should be good because we have about three months left, three and a half months left, and we used about two months. I mean, it might be close. So we're gonna, I'm probably gonna tailor it back just a little bit, take quicker showers. That hot water feels really good though. <sighs> What I think is pretty cool about those water tanks is a lot of people were saying they were gonna freeze. And I mean, we haven't hit like crazy low temperatures. I think the lowest we got was like eight degrees. I mean, that's pretty cold, well below freezing, but that water has not froze yet. I just, I don't think it's gonna, I mean, fingers crossed that it doesn't. I guess we'll find out, but I'm glad that it hasn't yet. We're getting ready to head down to the cabin in order to do the jacking up of the foundation that we need to do. I need to get a stump. It's like a big platform that we can put our uh, bottle jacks on to raise up the floor joists. So I am in one of our little wood piles over here trying to find a decently round one, like in diameter, you know, pretty big. So it acts as a good base. And I think I found one. I got my DeWalt saw here and this is it. So I'm pretty much just gonna cut it in half like this and then use both sides out because I need two of them. And then we can take that down there and then we should be good to jack that house up. And Tez is leaving a cookie crumb trail. And yeah, there's a strap too. Oh, yay. Must have fell off of her trailer. Yeah. We're gonna have to take it up to her, which means we're gonna have to give her a big hug and see her. Well, I'm not gonna put these in the forerunner. We just got it detailed, kind of. <laughs> so we're gonna put it up top and see if we can shop it down. They're like, they're kind of heavy because there's snow on them. And... Come on, muzzles. Uh, Let's go, big daddy. Uh, Now how are you gonna get the other one? I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. It's like, it's like the world's strongest man competition. You know when they lift those big old things above their head? Yeah. That's what I feel like right now. But this thing weighs like 50 Something pounds. about this makes me want to go to the gym again. Right? But we are at like 8,000 elevation. That has a little bit to do with it too. Hiya! You are my Hulk. Yeah. 
is cold out today. Got my little tea going. It says the creation of Thousand Forest is one acorn. Wise quotes. How you guys doing? Good. Did you guys have a snowball fight this morning? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Who threw the most snowballs? Daddy. Daddy did? Yeah. You let him win? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys gotta try a little harder. Okay. That strap is like just too short, but it's like just barely hanging on. I guess we'll see if it works. Let's just turn around. <laughs> As you guys know, we are renovating this 1940s cabin. It is completely off grid and everything is ran off of propane. So in order to keep everyone safe who is gonna stay here in the future, we partnered with Top Tees and their gas leak detector. Top Tees aims to be the top tester for every household and do-it-yourselfer. The low price portable gas leak detector can exactly pinpoint a leak, reducing the risk of gas explosion and keeping your family and property safe. Top Tees can save you hundreds in diagnostic fees from technicians. The lights, the refrigerator, and the stove are all ran off propane. This Top Tees gas leak detector is compact and very useful. I'm keeping this in my toolbox. Thank you, Top Tees, for sponsoring today's video. All right, back in the cabin. This cabin is about an inch or so lower than that side of the cabin from about here and that way. So there's four pillars that go across, one here, one there, one over there. We're gonna stick those stumps that I cut on either side of the, the, the pillar and raise this side up and then put shims in it until it's level or flat. And then just go down the line. Um, Cause over on this corner over here, it is level-ish. I mean, we're just gonna make it as good as we can before we start putting walls up and all that stuff. All I want from this whole life, a little red house in a country wife, a picnic table out on the lawn, a couple of kids and a couple of dogs work all day to half past five. A chain link fence and a gravel drive. The wind chime ringing on my front porch. A brand new carpet on every floor. And a rope swing tied around a limb of a tall oak tree. It don't sound like much. All right, I'm under here. I have this one set up. I think I can tell what happened. This beam right here is fine. Everything looks level, but this four by four that it's sitting on, it's sitting on the very edge. So it's like, and it's starting to like shrink down. I don't think it's like a pressure treated piece. I'm gonna see if I can raise the floor joist up. I don't know if it's attached to this. Raise this up and put the shims right here instead of trying to raise this entire beam up. It might be a little easier to do. Seeing now how this is already a shims. If I can just get that up and then, look, it's separating. put some shims underneath there to get it to where I need it to be. Hopefully that will be good. Look for level, I would just make sure that they're like level with each other, you know what I mean? Well, you're starting to get the bubble in the inside of the line, so that's good, but. So I'm gonna let this down and then it should be good. I mean, ideally that's not perfect with that gap right there being that these are the 1940s and we're just trying to make it flat-ish. That's all, I don't wanna, I'd rather have it like this than risk things breaking and cracking with the wood, you know, trying to lift up this whole thing. So after dropping it down, we're gonna have to repeat the process one more time and bottle jack it back up and put some more shims underneath it. Cause it we're, was just not, it would need to go up a little bit more. Yeah, I needed to go up just a little bit more, so.
right, guys, so we've kind of moved down. You're real close to getting there. Our friend Kevin showed up, which... All right, you're on it now. All right, a little bit more. Very helpful right, that's for Nick. That's level on the torpedo. I'm going to go one more, and then... I, is that oh, right there? Yeah, in here, and then if, I, then if I go over to this end and lift up that side, we can take that piece out and just put it in there. All right, so we are underneath. Everything's shimmed. I don't know if you can see that. It's not the best case scenario, but that's what it's gonna look like. This piece, however, we're shimming it and it's dry rotted on the other side of this piece of wood. Like it's termite damage like crazy. So I'm about to take my Sawzall and cut this out like this and then kind of then pull this out and then I'm gonna put a new piece in so that it just doesn't get worse and then even fall further. Yeah, that's what, yeah, the inside of that. That's, 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 what, that's what's holding the cabin up. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Oh, it's toast. It's yeah. like so light. Well, that's what I was saying, man. That's termite. You feel heavy? That's, it should be way heavier than that. Oh man, that's like what? <laughs> maybe seven pounds or something. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hollow. I bet if we would have left that in there, it would have just kept sinking. Well, it's like a sponge. Yeah. Wow. All right, so we came. We got a a, a new new use. Used, <laughs> as you can see, 1940s. <laughs> nostalgic piece of lumber the right size i just gotta cut a little bit of it but then we're gonna shove that piece under there take place of that termite infested whatever it was under whatever you want to call it <laughs> shim board oh. that ought to do it. yeah okay yeah, that's what you like about that two by six it's not sagging so bad <laughs> perfect there but when you get to here look how far off that is well the we got a flat level ish like it's it's pretty good it looks really good compared to what i thought it was gonna be <laughs> it was a roller coaster oh my goodness oh, i'm glad crazy. kevin came by and helped out because it was a lot easier to do mm -hmm. with his help um <laughs> uh, anyway <laughs> It's done now, so we're able to start building stuff now. Mm -hmm. But it's getting late. It's almost like five o'clock. It took about to longer go down. than we thought. But we didn't get up here until one because uh, hay bales were in the streets. So we had to help our friend out. And we found <laughs> on the way down, we found There's five like... more that she dropped. I don't know how she didn't see. I, I think she came home super late. She didn't know. Yeah, it was she dark didn't outside. Know. We might grab a few more on the way up and take them over to her. I don't know. We will. Our forerunner can only hold so many hay bales. <laughs> Maybe two. Should we put five on this? <laughs> Maybe we'll take you along with us and do that. Up pyramid style. <laughs> I think so. On top, right? Screw it. We're gonna call it a day for the cabin. Uh, we're gonna go back tomorrow, mm -hmm. so I need to change my tools out from demo tools to building tools. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> What? I don't know how our friend would do this. <laughs> like, I feel like Tez would have to bring her mini X down here. I got something on my face. <laughs> do I? Yeah, you have a straw hanging from your beanie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ready, set. No, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining hay. <laughs> Literally, hey baby. How many fun pun one liners can we make out of hay? <laughs> hey, good looking. <laughs> what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up for me? Yeah, Tez, make me a dinner. Make some dinner, lady. <laughs> I'm videoing you, so I'm helping. No, help me lift this thing. <laughs> no, I don't like your redneck ingenuity. How am I going to get this thing up here? <laughs> <laughs> ah!
Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Superman called. <laughs> he wants you to help. How much does this thing weigh? Like 60 pounds? 70? I don't know. Oh. But it's awkward. Oh. <laughs> Shot put this. <laughs> Shot put the hay. <laughs> <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> okay, I'll help you. Hope it holds. Is it normal to put four bales of hay on top of a forerunner? <laughs> like people do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's still one more up there. Are we going to grab the other one too? We found five bales on the way down after the two that we found. <laughs> this is four and the other one's up top of the mountain. All right, let's go be neighborly. <laughs> There's the other one. <laughs> Go get it, Daddy. We have enough room. <laughs> We're gonna make it work. <laughs> All right, we just dropped those five hay bales. That was a, an eventful trip home. <laughs> lifting up the hay bales and all that those things are heavy when you're lifting them up above your head like that yeah and just so silly yeah, gave me a fun. chuckle and a smile for the day and we're headed home we'll see you guys in the morning what are you doing Good morning, guys. It is snowing outside. It snowed like off and on all night long. I got a couple inches. See, there's a, I don't know, maybe two inches. I don't know. But as you can see, we're not getting any sun today. I can't even see. I don't even know where the sun's at right now. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. It should be, yeah, not happening. Not happening today. So as the same, same story as yesterday, time to put the generator on and clean off the solar panels. They're right there. They're starting to slough off anyways, but I'm gonna clean them off. And then we gotta run into town this morning for a quick little trip. And then back to work on the cabin. Clean off the panels. As you can see, there's already more snow in there, so we'll probably have to clean it off again later. It's supposed to snow all day along. The kitties are out. Hi, Cameron. Cute kitties. Anyways, we're heading into town right now. Do a few errands, and then we'll be back. No more demo, time to start rebuilding everything. The first thing we're gonna do is this gap right here that puts the, these two cabins together. I have this three quarter inch OSB and I'm gonna fill it in because this is exactly where our wall is going to be back. I'm gonna start cutting pieces, filling this up. Hopefully we can get some of this wall put up today. Good. <laughs> okay. 
So some of you might be wondering why I'm ripping the four foot side rather than the eight foot side to make it smaller sections. And the reason why, this is not like one like de like measurement. Like it's started at like 13 and a quarter over there. Now it's at 12 and 12 and a quarter, so it's an inch. So I'm just doing this smaller so I can get it as close as possible. I think we got this piece and one more, then we can move on. goodness so Kevin's in here and we're bantering back and forth and they're saying this whole framing thing is a walk in the park what do you guys think I don't know it even has the 16 inch on center mark for me that's cool <laughs> these two are funny <laughs> Kevin. all right we're gonna attempt I think we have a I think it's 12 feet? I don't even know how long this top and bottom plate is. But it's like touching the edges of both walls almost. We're gonna try to leave this, the outside studs off, lift it up and then just put them in afterwards. And then I left the jack studs out because I'm gonna put them in afterwards as well. Uh, we're gonna do a 30 inch door, put some nails together and put the first wall up. The wall's up. We actually moved the wall, I don't know if you can see it. There's a king and jack. We moved it over about 16 inches or so. So it's gonna be at the end of this so it'll be perfect to save space in the room. But right now, I'm gonna hammer this down onto the ground, put that one brace up, and I don't know if you can tell the sun is going down. I think that's gonna get for here. day yeah we finally we got some stuff we're building rebuilding we're moving the along cabin. feels good to, <laughs> we got like one to the half of the wall up that goes along the entire little center yes so that feels good we had to move it up a little bit because we wanted to move the place of the door but no big deal mm -hmm. um had a couple of visitors today so that was cool yeah yeah it was a good couple days mm -hmm. but i think so, it's gonna be the end of this video guys be sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in a few days. See ya. <laughs>